And you still pass? Yeah. Like, literally today, me and my friend were just sitting in the back of the class singing the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> nice. The teacher didn't even care. She just kind of looked at us, then looked back away like she didn't see anything. It's like, as long as they do their shit, and, or at least keep it to themselves, I won't bother them. More like me and him are the only ones in the class who understand anything. Ah, oh, that's sad. Which is sad, because we have some seniors taking that chemistry class, and we understand the stuff more. Yeah, that means you're smarter. Yay! More like I could multitask. That's good. I could sing and listen. We also started singing and singing. Uh, yawn. And when I say that, I mean it. Like The thing is, we weren't even like keeping it to ourselves. Like At one point, we had the instrumental version of Cityscape playing in the background, singing along to it, adding the lyrics in ourselves. Nice. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm pretty sure it was audible. Eh, yeah, probably. <laughs> it was funny, though. Oh, uh, most definitely. <laughs> no one questioned it. Just let it happen. It's easier that way. So, which Pokemon opening is your favorite? Uh, the first one. Oh. Hey, and if it's fair, that fucking song is the catchiest goddamn thing ever. You know what's catchier? What? The fourth season's one, which is pretty much that except catchier. <laughs> yeah, but tell me, if you ever started singing the first song, you probably get everyone fucking starting to sing it along with you. Actually, to be honest, because of the way the fourth season song and the first one begins sometimes i start out singing season one and then transition over to season four halfway through ah nice <laughs> hi dad hi tater i am trying to find your yeah dear god where is that switch i'm supposed to have this pressed down on there it is Woo. oh did we start the thing when do I ever tell you when we start? Uh, rarely. Although when I do it, you like take the opening super far. And I love it. Everyone loves it. Except for all the people who don't love it. And luckily enough, they don't watch. <laughs> the people who don't like it don't watch. Yep. That's everyone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No need to remind me I'm a failure. Oh. My dad does that enough. So you're Batman. Not really. Just for everyone who knows, my dad doesn't actually think of me as a failure. Batman. Um, no. I'm not an orphan. Batman. I don't have an irrational fear, b fear of bats and then use that to my advantage. I'm Superman. Um, no, you're Wonder Woman. I'm the Green Lantern. But wasn't he black at one point? That was a different Green Lantern. You're using modern day Green Lantern? It, the, the first Green Janitor... Blah, 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 blah. The first Green Janitor, janitor was black. No, the first... Hey, I said Green Janitor. The first Green Lantern was white. No, the, the first Green one. Janitor was blue. The first Green Janitor was Yeah, blue. he started the Green Janitor Association. Dear God. How long was I gone? Very, very long. Oh yeah, the first Green Lantern was Hal Jordan, which was white. <laughs> okay. He was. I said okay. He was. <gasps> okay, okay. 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 Okay! Okay! okay. I like how you just completely missed my ribbon my rhythm heaven reference when I did the exaggerated okay. Okay. Then again, you wouldn't have realized it unless you saw what my hand did as well. Okay. 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 Rhythm heaven is a fun game. I uh, <laughs> bet it is. Although, I wouldn't know because I haven't played it much. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of Honey Pop, I mean Bejeweled Thirsty Edition. He's into those lowlies. What? No. 
More like I was bored and found the game, and I was like, play it, why not? Uh, I have a uh, Someone's knocking on yeah, your door. Yeah, we're gonna need a cut. Um, wait for me to completely buy this tentacle first. Okay. Cut. Uh, great. Because I got wheat wrap, so I'm gonna make some eggs, swap some ham with it. Ooh! Some cheese. Sounds good. Alright. I got cake from downstairs. Nice! I want cake. Ooh! Very nice. Um, mail me some cake. You can't have a cake over the internet. That's why I said mail it. <laughs> It'll mold in the mail. I don't care. Mail me some cake. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> I'll mail you a plastic cake. Alright, cut over. We're back. Oh. Uh, we're back? We're back! Okay, I was hoping that the battle would be over by the time we got back so I could just end up outside the battle. But yeah, we can end up on the victory screen. Ah, uh, you didn't just freeze it? Nah. Uh. I need to push this boulder. He's in those lollies. That's not true. It's in uh, Don't check my internet history. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, not true for the lollies. The Sunadris, though, it's like, oh, don't check my internet. Oh, no, they're both true. It's just that I don't want people to know. Sunadris! I mean, I didn't obviously say that aloud. Girls! If you really want Deathwing, be a Tsunade, so get him in a splash. I like how you keep pronouncing it that way. Deathwing! Tsundere. There we go. Tsunadre. And questionable. Tsun... Chicken. I actually think I'm going through this victory road correctly. Was I really that bad at block pushing puzzles as a kid? Yes. Dear God, these puzzles are so easy. They are. I'm at the very end already. Fun fact. If you were playing the original Red and Blue, you'd run into Moltres in Victory Road. And if you're playing Pokemon Ash Gray version, yep. you'll find a Ho-Oh flying overhead the moment you go onto Route 1. Yep. Hey. Nice shout out to our ROM hat. ROM hats! ROM hats! Pack your room for some fun! Um, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna end the episode here early. Okay. Bye, everybody! Promax, relax! Or more, or more so, I'm just gonna tack it onto the end of a different vi- Well, onto the beginning of a different video, because we're only like five minutes in. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll see you guys while I go- I'll see you guys later when I level grind all my Pokemon up. Tell me when I'm back. Um... We're back. We're back. We versus. Uh, what episode is this? Thirty-two. Um, it's still part of thirty-two. Yeah. Still part of thirty-two. Well, people, we yeah. just learned something horrible. Stone Edge is Generation Four. Yeah. By the way, this is my team at current. Everything's level sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah. Except for my starter, who's seventy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think I'm prepared. Yep. No. I'm ready for whatever the Elite Four throws at me. Also, I bought a lot of medicine. I bought, I now have 10 revives and 20 full restores and 5 max potions. I just realized something. You don't have a single electrical Pokemon. My Kadabra has an electric type attack. But none of them are electrical type. So, Who fights the I also don't have a four without an electric type. I don't have a fire type either, and the first person's a ice type user. Ice slash water. Don't worry, I have the best move in the game. You know why it's the best move in the game? It's Fisher. Yeah, I'm higher level than them, so my accuracy isn't actually just thirty percent. Yay! I knew I was adequately leveled. The first person's level is 52. I told you over leveled. I missed. No, they're close to it. Imagine what Gary's gonna have. Hey, he's gonna have maybe 58. 
I landed the second fissure. The first one missed. Ah, sad. But it's okay. It's a one-hit KO. Yay! What'd you kill? Um, I killed a dugong. By the way, just because these are like official Elite Four matches, we should act like we're the Pokemon Stadium announcer. Ah, I would, but I can't see your shit, so I can't see what move is being used. Aw, oh, true sad. If I could, I'd be fucking doing this all day, all night, fucking long. Can we just kill Cloyster? Please, game? All you have to do is get an Onyx and you calm it down. I, th I think it's just trying to... It has... No, this cloister is safe. It has too much protection. It got the double protect. Oh my god. It, it uses this too much. It... Not even my oh, Onyx can pierce it. Dear god. There's no way. Well, the dugong did help at first. It gave it the safeguard as well. Damn. That's a fucking well-protected fucking cloister. Sheesh, I have to bring out the heavy artillery. Madam, bring me the Stilex. <laughs> ah, that's horrible. <laughs> what? You already made the Onyx joke. I know, but that's still hilariously horrible. <laughs> uh, hey, after, after we get done with the Elite Four, that's it with the main game, right? Post-game! <laughs> You know what that means, right? Crobat? Yeah! <laughs> but I did tell you, you can't get a Crobat until after game. Which is dumb. Yeah, it's a thing they fixed in later gems. It's like, you know what? This is stupid. Let's just add it to the Pokedex. There you go. Yeah. Instead of having it so you can only catch the things from that region, they had the regional decks which showed everything that was just catchable. Right, and it was like, evolvable. Because, you know, like, fucking the new Omega Ruby and Elf Sapphire, they are like, nah, you can't get Gallade if you had a shiny stone somehow. No, no, they like made it a fucking plot point, like, fucking Gallade. I'm still upset with that. I wanted Wally and his Gardevoir, not Wally and his... Dueler. Like, we all know Gallade plays Yu-Gi-Oh!, just look at his arm with that dual disc. Motherfucker, yeah! So, last I checked, my Pokemons don't play yu gi -mons. But that's the best thing. Fucking Pokemon with card games. My body as a swag is the best card. Card games on Pokemon! <laughs> that's... What Pokemon? Rhyhorns? Nah, nah, you're just sitting on the freaking Torterra's back playing Yu-Gi-Oh with them, not you, your friend. Nah, you're both riding on Skidoos. <laughs> around a racetrack. Ah, uh, Skidoos. Why did they make riding Skidoos so much fun, but then Go-Gate was the- but then go -Go was the most annoying, boring thing ever? Uh, because they like to annoy you. And then on top of that, why can't just any Pokemon... Well, why can't you just have a Skidoo of your own and ride it anywhere instead of a bike? Uh, because they didn't pay for Like, I would love, instead of getting a bike, you got your Pokemon riding license. Yeah! Just fuck you say, fuck the bike, let's just ride a Pokemon. You want to ride on the back of your Charizard? Go ahead. Well, there's got to be certain Pokemon... Because if you're going to ride on the back of the fucking Charizard, they may as well make it a Latios and Latios-like thing. Fine. You you get your Pokemon license plus a call and whistle, which calls a certified Go-Go to you. Yay! I'd rather what, ride a freaking, uh... What was it called again? It's the big thing that evolves from Swine Up. Mammal Swine! I like just charging through the snow with Mammoth Wine. <laughs> it was fun. Let me just ride on a Steelix and just burrow underground. That'd be interesting. By the way, can I just say screw Lapras? <sighs> Why? Is it annoying you? It's too fat. Too bulky? 
I killed it. Uh, I switched to my thing that has ancient power with it. Woo! Ancient power! Sadly, I didn't get the everything buff. No everything buff. Woo, I killed the Jinx. Jinx is down. And so is Lorelei. Uh, oh, did you ever play the Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon series? Actually, I have not. And yet, you have an emulator. Yeah. And you never played it. I have not. The thing is, I wanted the game as a kid. Father misheard me. Bought Fire Red. I've told this story before. I know, that's why I'm asking. And then, because of that, I've never learned how to play the game, so I never got into it. But you have an emulator! So? There's a game. You can pull it up and learn how to play it. Hey, any last words for the people? Uh, emulators are not being used to their full potential. What do you mean? I'm playing Pokemon. Uh, you need to learn to widen your horizons. 